the Idris Shah Foundation podcast. Practical Psychology for Today. Featuring the works of Idris Shah, voiced by David Alt. Welcome to the Idris Shah Foundation podcast. In this edition of the podcast, we will hear selections from Reflections by Idris Shah. This audio has been made available by the Idris Shah Foundation. Death A man once said, Death? That's something I'll believe in when I have some evidence for it. He went to a mountaintop to contemplate, and refused to see or to listen to any living creature, since his investigations into death were of the greatest importance to him. That was thousands of years ago. Since nobody has ever heard of him again, nobody knows whether he is still alive or not. Even history has forgotten about him, which goes to show how ungrateful humanity is towards its heroic investigators. Evolution In a certain forest, the monkeys used to throw sticks to make fruit fall from the trees. But just as they had at one time acquired this art, they were quite able to develop beyond this stage. One morning, a certain monkey saw that a spider had spun a web and could get to his food by scurrying across it. That is an advanced way of doing things, said the primate to himself. So he asked the spider how to do it. When there was no reply, he killed the insect with an impatient blow. Then he described the idea to his companions. They spent an enormously long time trying out various webs fashioned from creepers, of bark, even of saliva. Schools of thought and chattering institutes of study based on the feasibility of this technique grew up. But then a whole afternoon had almost worn to an end, and the monkeys were hungry again. It would soon be dark. One by one they wandered off in search of suitable sticks to throw up at the laden trees. Grit What you are pleased to call a mere piece of grit, said the oyster, is in reality nothing nearly so simple. It is a socio-psychological problem of ever-shifting emphasis and real relevance to contemporary circumstances. To speak of it in terms of a process is to try and mock the entire intellectual and academic heritage of oysterdom. No oyster could have any patience with you. Worried A mosquito was buzzing around the ear of a tiger. The tiger, from time to time, shook his head or raised a paw towards his ear. Another insect flying past watched for a moment. Then he said to the mosquito, You will never survive if you go near enough to taste any of the tiger's blood. I do not intend to try, said the mosquito, but I have made him worried, have I not? Truth From time to time ponder whether you are unconsciously saying, Truth is what I happen to be thinking at this moment. Common Knowledge The more you look at common knowledge, the more you realise that it is more likely to be common than it is to be knowledge. No real knowledge is common. Two Religions I asked a venerable authority, What would you call these beliefs? Man was born to suffer, for he has to suffer to be born again. He said, This is Christianity without a doubt. Then I asked another equally hoary pundit the same question. His answer was, That statement summarizes the spiritual philosophy of Hinduism. Life is difficult, isn't it? Expectation If, from time to time, you give up expectation, you will be able to perceive what it is you are getting. Giving and Taking If you give what can be taken, you are not really giving. Take what you are given, 
not what you want to be given. Take what is given. Give what cannot be taken. Life and Disappointment Seeing an old lady of evident serenity and knowledge sitting opposite me on a train, I leaned forward and asked her, What wisdom can you pass on to me? She said, Young man, all I have got to say is that life has been a great disappointment to me. Tantalising People wonder why, as they put it, Eastern teachings tantalise. It is generally because once we can see that people have become tantalized, they are not yet ready for true understanding. How can you be tantalized by something which is not in itself appetizing if you are not yourself greedy? What did you learn? Please, not again what you studied, how long you spent at it, how many books you wrote, what people thought of you, but what did you learn? Rights A man jealous of his own rights often manifests this covertly working for himself by fighting for the rights of others. The weakness of such a situation is that people have still not realised that rights based on any jealousy are not worth having. People and Ideas the devil said to the scholar, Why do you not make yourself master of an entire field of learning so that people can be guided by you out of total ignorance into comparative knowledge? The scholar said, I like the idea, but not the person who suggested it. That is good enough for me, said the devil, for people can easily forget the person as soon as they can make use of an idea. For extraterrestrial beings. When the human being says, it is not true, he may mean, I don't know about it, so I think it is untrue, or I don't like it. Decisions. People who cannot make decisions are in that state because they have made a decision not to make decisions. They are indecisive because they have been too decisive in the first place. The consequence of precipitate decisiveness must be inactivated if the condition of uncertainty is to be overcome. Big and Small The only drawback about being too big for small things is that it makes one too small for big ones. Too big for information is equal to too small for knowledge. Too big to learn means too small to understand. When anyone says, I am beyond that, you may be sure that it is beyond him. Not because it must be beyond him, but because if he were beyond it, he would not say it. Wetter Water We all know people who want water to be wetter. They need to realise that water is there to be of the wetness of water. To agree with such people's first assumptions is hypocrisy or ignorance. To try to wet and water for them is stupidity. Tourism A tourist is a person who goes to a place which was originally worth visiting. He is undoubtedly endowed with supernatural powers because after sufficient exposure to the tourist, the inhabitants start to hate the place. Toys People used to play with toys. Now the toys play with them. Remembering and forgetting You have not forgotten to remember. You have remembered to forget. But people can forget to forget. That is just as important as remembering to remember, and generally more practical. Advanced What is sometimes thought to be clever is, significantly often, merely an advanced form of foolishness. 
Shrinkage. Water shrinks wool. Urgency shrinks time. Shrinkage may be an advantage or the reverse, according to expectation. Against God. How curious that people should be more interested in the charge that I am against God than in the question whether God is against me. The Emperor's New Clothes. It is not always a question of the Emperor having no clothes on. Sometimes it is, Is that an Emperor at all? Digestion. Instead of giving one a religious tract, people interested in that kind of thing ought to make sure first that the recipient has a digestive tract to be able to absorb the real content of spiritual materials. Versatile thought While you use thoughts which attract or repulse you only for purposes of stimulation, you are only half alive. You are also cooperating in keeping yourself in good training to be conditioned by others. What do you think I am? The stupidest man I ever met had a favourite saying. It was, What do you think I am? Stupid or something? Laziness the laziness of adolescence is a rehearsal for the incapacity of old age. The Seeking of the Master Musa Najib was asked why he charged a fee from those who came to his sessions, and why he often did not even address his audience. He said, I charge for this object lesson. People believe that knowledge must be given freely and consequently mistake everything which is free for knowledge. I do not always lecture because, among Sufis, the master finds the pupil. The pupil has to be physically present, but he may be absent in every other sense. When I discern that a pupil is present, then I find him, for then his inner call is audible to me, even if it is silent to him. Seek, and you will be found. This podcast is copyright 2016, the Idris Shah Foundation.